You are busy, busy with your job, family, and the things that make you happy. Hi, my name is Eric Hagan. Take just a few minutes with me each week as I give you an overview of the economy, markets, and the things that can have a real impact on your life savings. Subscribe now and spend more time on the things most important to you. Well, tailwinds returned nicely to Wall Street last week. In the wake of the correction, the major indices rebounded. The Nasdaq Composite led the way, rising 5.31% to a Friday settlement of 72.39. Bulls also sent the Dow Industrials and the S&P 500 much higher. The Dow gained 4.25% on the week to 25,219, while the S&P rose 4.3% to 2732. The VIX volatility index is certainly on a wild ride. It fell 33.5% across last week to 19.32, but remained up over 75% year to date. In the commodity sector, oil staged a notable comeback, rallying 4.2% in five days to finish the week at $61.68 a barrel on the NYMEX. So the consumer price index rose a half of a percent in January alone, its greatest month over month advance since January of 2017. Core inflation, which removes food and energy prices, increased 0.3%, marking the largest monthly gain in almost 13 years. Contradicting perceptions that the economy might be overheating, retail purchases fell 0.3% in January. Minus car buying, retail sales would have been unchanged for a second straight month as a Department of Commerce revision rendered the previously announced December gain flat. Looking at new home building, groundbreaking increased 9.7% last month, according to a Census Bureau report. The first month of the year also brought a 7.4% rise in building permits. So looking at this week, of course, yesterday, Monday, was President's Day. The financial markets were closed. The earnings roll call for today, Tuesday, includes results from Cardtronics, Cracker Barrel, Domino's Pizza, Duke Energy, Fleur, Fresh DuPont Produce, Home Depot, HSBC, Medtronic, Noble Energy, Public Storage, Sempra Energy, Transocean, and Walmart. Tomorrow, on Wednesday, Wall Street considers January existing home sales, minutes from the Federal Reserve's January policy meeting, and earnings from Avis Budget Group, Cheesecake Factory, Dish Network, Garmin, Kaiser Aluminum, Owens Corning, Pandora, Roku, Sunoku, and Wendy's. A new initial jobless claims report arrives on Thursday, plus earnings from Bloomin Brands, Chesapeake Energy, Edison International, First Solar, GoDaddy, Herbalife, HP, Hormel, Intuit, Planet Fitness, Wayfair, and Wingstop. Huntsman and KBR present earnings then on Friday. Hey, this is Eric again. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. If you'd prefer to read the transcript each week, you can subscribe to that at www.erichagan.pro. Also, if you'd like to get financially organized, head on over to nocostfinancialdashboard.com and take control of your financial future. Thank you again for your time today. I'll look for you next week.